life out. It's, it's been a while, hasn't it, since I've uploaded anything. But I uh, thought I'd make the effort. Yesterday, that was Sunday, I went to the British Vintage Wilder Society meet at uh, Goldbourne, up north. And uh, I didn't go there to buy the ages particularly or anything like that. Just mainly to meet some friends. And yeah, I kind of came home with some stuff. So it's kind of like a show and tell thing. First thing we got was this um, Fanda TF200 frequency counter. Got it for about £5. And some body had left some batteries in and it had gone a bit crispy. Anyway, took them out and uh, cleaned up a bit. Hey, it works, look at that. So, uh, I've not got a thing to count here. I've got a signal generator, but it's one of them uh, dial ones, so use this to make sure it's dead on. Things you need it for. Not bad, so that's a bit of useful test equipment. The next thing I got, and this is in no particular order, I got a uh, Roberts RT1 transistor radio. Not for myself, this is going to be a present for a family member. Fantastic radio. Uh, the buzzing is the power supply in the room, so. Sit. It's in red, yeah, it does need a bit of glue on the top. But, yeah. In red, lovely Roberts radio, the finest of all portables. And uh, one thing, good thing about it is, let's open the hatch there, is this. It's the uh, original, what do you call it, Bill of Sale, Hickey's, 153 Fry Street, Reading. And it went to a Miss E. Kind. The serial number, that's how much to pay for it. Uh, this was way back when I went there. You got the little um, you got the little stamp thing because you had to pay stamp duty on it. So, quite interesting that. It's a bit of history. Oh, she's included in a little, uh, little battery box because you don't put 9 volts up in unless you want to destroy it. And if this doesn't like it, well, I'll add it myself. Because I do love a good Roberts radio set. What else did I get? Well, I didn't buy this one. Paul gave it to me. It is a... Um, individual box of all. Partridge Electronics Limited. Broad says Kent, England. The world record antenna system. Ooh, what's in the box? Actually, thumbs up if you know if you remember that place. It is a little antenna tuner, Joy March triple purpose ATU. It actually is the kit, all the bits of it inside it. Uh, I think Paul saw this on he, he thought of me, so that's uh, great. I'll link his channel below. Go and go and subscribe to him. Yep, got the instructions. Uh, more instructions here. That's the first time I've properly opened this, so. Um, well, we've got a plastic case complete with lid, available capacitor attached, screws, coax cable, coax, coax socket, and it's got the bill of sale. Partridge Electronics, board says Kent, telephone fan it, 08436253535, Mr WH Etheridge, and um, purchased this on the 24th of January 1979, this looks like he bought some other stuff as well, but uh, join match ATU. Bit of history gets you, gets you here. I'm putting something hard right now. So uh, that might appear in an upcoming video, but yep, yeah, Paul said all the stuff's there, so uh, 
have a play with that later. Let's move that out of the way. It's my first radio swap meet and I was quite impressed with it. Well, first, first time there, you know. I'll steal those again. Uh, George Christoffi, he threw one of these at me. Then later pulled through the box at me. Got a feeling they don't like me. Um, little Nesquip promotional radio, it does FM. It's got a nice little, little light on it. Simple thing, you switch it on, press scan, it goes to one radio station and scan again the next one and these set winds it back. It's a bit of fun. Paul gave me an entire box of these, so it's a little mini challenge to get rid of them all <laughs> on eBay. So um, we shall see how that goes. Another thing I purchased, I'll switch over here. Now, I've repaired a few transistor sets, well, refurbished them, etc. But I've never done a valve radio, and I've always said I'm not going to touch a valve radio because valve radios tend to be dangerous. But I saw this one, this beauty. It's a lovely Murphy valve set. It's an ACDC set, so I'm going to have to get a, make a lamp limiter at some point. Case looks in good condition, as will chip up the corner. Got this for £15. I think the guy said it doesn't work, so needs a bit of work, but what what Valvedia doesn't. Bush type U198H. I can see a bit of that original backing's come off. Uh, reason on the forum, apparently they used to get quite hot. It just tends to burn away, so that's being replaced. That knob in the corner, which is the wave change knob, that's not standard that it should be a lever and there's a little um slide switch i think that's a toner but that's metal and with it being an ac dc set don't be touching that because it's live chassis and uh, i know my time is coming i will die one day but i don't want to be don't want to die touching a a live chassis i don't want to get zapped i want to go out more spectacular than being electrocuted Anyway, that's enough for that dark thought. Now, towards the end on the Wild Society's uh, table, they te towards the end of it, they tend to get rid of stuff. So, one of them shouts out, you know, anything on this table is £5, and everyone really rushed in. And I didn't really want to buy anything else. And then later I heard him cheer up saying, anything on this table's a pound. It, everything's a pound, you know. Because I think, they did rather not take it back and it was just going to get chucked anyway. So uh, I brought this uh, this Ultra Radio. It does medium wave, long wave and short wave. And of course it doesn't work because it's got AF117s in it. Well yeah, I'll make a nice little project radio. Um, get rid of the AF117s, put an alternative in, recap it. Not in bad condition though. The plastic ring things come off somewhere and there's a couple of dents in the grill but um yeah get that working clean up a bit so what else did i get well i was given something from chris or the gear no idea link in the okay then There we go. Philips PM3217 50 megahertz oscilloscope. The ignore, ignore, first power one. I can't seem to get any words up today, so um, obviously it's going to need calibrating. We have power. Now I'm going to have to do a bit of reading for this to figure out how to use it, so um, we've got a trace on that. Right, let's see what we get. So yeah, this is the biggest piece of the test equipment I've ever owned 
So it's going to take a bit of a while to um, figure it out. But I've got some um, got some test leads over here. So you have to read the instruction booklet on how to do all the calibration and. So, but you know it's a an old old scope. And the last time I touched these was not long after I left school because I was going to do um, electronics. And then I decided it wasn't quite for me. It didn't. It got too technical, but that's a that's a long story which I'm not going to bore you with. Anyway, that's uh, that's it for this video, and. Um, there'll be some more ideas coming up so repairing the Murphy set I'm not going to show you how to build a lamp limiter because there's loads of videos on to do that so build a lamp limiter get the Murphy set up and running do the ultra maybe build that ATU as well so um, yep that's what I got from Goldborn it was a fantastic day out and it was good to meet some friends I'll link everybody's channel below um, Cody's, all the gear, no idea. Andrew also mess up with him as well. Uh, George Christoffi. So, um, yeah, that's it for this video, and uh, catch you in the next one. Until next time, take it easy. See you soon. I was messing with the Philips oscilloscope, and I forgot one other thing that I got from Goldborn. It says Robert's Wambler in red. That's seen better days. George gave it to me. Well, threw it at me. Here you go off that. I don't think he likes Robert's for some reason. I think he likes those uh, doorstop radios. Um, hackers, I think they're called. Anyway, he said I can have this. So uh, it's been... Um... Can't get off here. Yeah. It's been recapacitors and resistorized. I don't know if he's changed the transistors. It works anyway, but it uh, needs a bit of work doing to it. That's cracked, so that needs replacing. The um, the knobs are a bit battered, and the um, the handle's gone. And the previous owner before George has put that little headphone socket in, which is just mono, but can't do anything with that. Plan is uh, take them off because I've got one upstairs that needs a new handle anyway and the um, shiny bits are better condition. Replace the knobs, uh, obviously fill in the holes that the handle went in and I'm going to recover it because the vaccine's a bit a bit scratched and scuffed and a bit mucky so uh, I might be going to recover it or attempt to. I'm going to recover it in, I don't know, but that'll be maybe another video. So this is the end of the video. I have not forgotten anything else. Well, there's one thing, but it's not for vid videoing. It does some antennas, but they're going on eBay anyway. Right, that is definitely it for this video. And I'll see you soon. Take it easy. And um, yeah, there is another uh British Vintage Wilder Society meet in December. I don't know if I'm going to that one yet, but anyway. If I go, I'll go and I'll do another video of what I've brought or not brought. Who can tell? Anyway, see you again.